Howdy y'all, welcome to Sam's Whiskey Bar. I am Mr. Sam, and today I got a mail call from Dave Bogle saying, thank you, thank you, thank you, Dave. Stick around, see what he sent me. So Dave and I were talking and um, I had never had the 100 proof Old Forester single barrel. So he said, I'm gonna send you that. And he said, I also have the rye version um, of the single barrel barrel strength from Old Forester. It's 139.8 proof. I'm gonna send that along with your Old Forester 100 proof. Well, Dave, you did a little bit better than that, buddy. He sent more. Now, I made the decision to take, line them all up, take a picture, send them to my buddies, and instantly, I got texts like, when are you going to be home? I want to try that one, blah, 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 which they know they are welcome to. And that's what bourbon is for, is to share, just like Dave did with me and just like I've done with a lot of you. So here's a little challenge to you. Can you all send me some handshakes that are better than Dave's? It's going to be hard as I pull the rest of these out here. I did make a New Year's resolution to buy less quantity of whiskey. I didn't say anything about quality. I might spend the same amount of money, but I'm going to try to buy less quantity of whiskey this year. You guys can help me out. So I'm just going to pull them out. They're in no order. I just threw them in here. Weller Full Proof Store Pick, 114 proof. Thank you. Russell's Reserve Barrel Proof, aged 13 years, batch number five, 114.8 proof. <laughs> I think Dave's got a pretty good collection. What do you guys think? Michter's 10-year-old single barrel bourbon whiskey, 94.4 proof. What do we got here? Rebecca Creek, double barrel bourbon whiskey, Spanish oak. I think that's a Texas whiskey. Tell me in the comments. I can look it up. But I think Rebecca Creek is like right above San Antonio. All right, that, I'm interested in that Spanish oak. I don't like a lot of Texas whiskey. Send me a still Austin. I'm going to try that one, see how they are. Uh, Corbin Cash, 1917, rye, barrel proof, 123 proof. Um, Corbin Cash, I believe is a California distillery. Um, a little inland in California. Ooh, wild turkey, age 12 years, 101. 12 year, 101. <laughs> hell yeah, Dave. Hell. Dave knows what I like. He obviously watches my videos. Thank you, Dave, for all the conversation and just being a great guy. Really appreciate Dave. If you ever hear me in a video go, Dave, that's who I'm talking about. Wild turkey, age 13 years, distiller's reserve 91 proof. Dang, Dave. Will it? Purple Top, aged eight years, weeded bourbon, 108 proof. <laughs> yeah. Weller, 12 year, 90 proof. You guys know the Weller, 12 year, 90 proof. What's the last one? What's the last one? Stag. Batch 22A, 132.2 proof. Man, Dave, thank you so much. I'm gonna pause the video here, maybe start it back up when my buddies come over and we're gonna sample some of these, or at least I'm gonna get them on here and just say, hey, so pause. See this, Dave has these printed, and then if I wanna open and this, he's wrap. got it shrink, child proof on the top. That is awesome, Dave. That's freaking awesome. Well, I just had that Weller full proof, so I got to try the 12 year. Hell <laughs> yeah. What do you think about old Dave? It's awesome. <laughs> Dave! Crooked 7.7 .7 back there. We got to roll his stuff too. Thank you. All right, buddy. Dave, thank you. I got to go pick up my wife. <laughs> See you, buddy. Be good. Drive safe. I think the stag and the old Forester, the old Forester <coughs> is very easy to drink, very good flavor. The stag has great flavor and sticks with you. It's a little hot, just just like bourbon ought to be. But uh, thanks, Dave. It's up there. Appreciate all the samples you sent. And uh, we're having a good time here. 
we have gone through all these samples tonight, Dave, and we are on to Angels in B. Rye first wheel horse and your stag 23A. Yeah. And the Old Forester 100 single barrel, our top two. Yeah, that, that's my I would two. agree with that. Yeah. I would agree with that. Dave, thank you so much, bro. That was awesome. What a great night we've had here in the middle of Kansas. Just sitting here drinking bourbon because of you, Dave, and Crooked. Crooked 7.7, .7. thank you. We've been going through your stuff too. Appreciate you guys sending us samples. Shout out to Crooked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Crooked and Dave, dude, you guys killed it. And I would also like to thank James, Whiskey Gator, Sal Woot, and everybody else who has sent me samples, Sticks and Sips. Thank you guys so much. Amazing. Can you do better? I don't think so. This is amazing. What do you think about Dave? <laughs> I like Dave. <laughs> Dave. Dave's my number one, you know, number one guy right now. He, he got me a Willet. That wheel at Purple Top, yep. that eight year wheat yep. that we almost split. Yeah, we we went we, in to get, we were going to go in together. We were doing one of them drawings, you know, at the end of the year, the 12 Days of Christmas deal or whatever it is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And it, we had talked about if we had gotten the first pick on this, if we we're going to do the wheel at Purple Top. So Dave, Dave, you know, gave us a little sample of it, let us know that if we'd made the right decision or not. And then, yeah, I said, hey, you got any of that Purple Top left? And he did. Thank you for saving it. I appreciate that. Thanks. Thank, thank, you, thank you, Dave. Dave. Thank, thank you, Dave. you, Dave, again. Yeah. And then he had his first Weller 12. That's a 12 year, had some foolproof, which I've had that the other night at another restaurant. Um, and then, then, then what do we do? We decided to make a poor man's pappy. We never had poor man's pappy, yeah. Dave. We had to do it. I have a bottle of 107. It was down to the bottom of the label right here. We filled this sucker up when we got down to our forty percent, and yep. we yeah. And, I and, think and, and the poor man's pappy is better, better than the one hundred seven or the twelve. The, the year. pappy itself is better than each of those products individually. It really was, and I'm a one hundred seven fan. I'll buy a bottle of one hundred seven whenever I can get it. To Dave, thank you, Dave. To Dave, thank you, Dave. Hey guys, like, subscribe, share, do all that kind of stuff. Comment down below. I reply to all the comments. I'd like to get to know you. So, hey, catch us next time.